Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Royal Ultimate Roman Restoration. Uh, I just realized that these troops have been taking a fair bit of damage. Not sure why. But anyway, we in previous episode we finally managed to capture this area, so now we're trying to fortify here so that they can't retake it. Not easily, anyway. And we do have a lot of infantry coming from Albania. Well, mostly Albania, anyway. Oh, well, that explains why we are taking a hefty casualties there. Let's pull the artillery over there, then. Do we have the... Yes, we actually do. Just entrench yourself over there. You should be able to at least fire on a lot of the enemies. Do we have another one of those yet? No, we are producing one, aren't we? Yes, we are. It's 15 days away if it's being produced every day. Which currently, I'm not sure that it will be, but... Oh well. Now, we got some of the infantry repaired again. So we'll set up a little bit extra on the trenches here. Then we'll set up a good garrison over there. Set up the artillery around here, actually. Well, once we have the garrisons proper, but I mean, I suppose we could move some of them. And we are regaining control over there, slowly. Oh yeah, they got some... Okay. Right, but I think the next thing is... Well, first of all, we're going to fortify this area. We are probably going to gather up enough troops to take out this village here. And then maybe that, and connect the lands with... The, or connect the territories with the Germans, and then maybe set up some defenses around here. We're not going to move into the Maginot Line area at all, but it might help a little bit to move down that way. Okay, we are getting the infantry, so let's uh, put in the group number 11 there. We're going to move these to entrench over there. There is garrisons over there. It's actually a village, and there's military goods production there, so getting that wouldn't be a bad idea. At the same time, how much do we... Demand is still over 20,000. So it isn't a small one. Let's send four of these to entrench over there. These three gather up with that one, then we're going to send them over there. So we'll have a strong defense line here. Then we'll just need to get more artilleries and will be good. Oh, and we got a lot of troops here. We'll actually start sending these to the northern front here. Some extra infantry over here that are not quite ready to do anything important, I'm afraid, but... Gather out the troops. I mean, I'll let them rest for a while so they can get their efficiency up and all that. Oh, and I do want to start repairing this village. Because I don't want to have it destroyed by the enemy. Yeah, well, you better run. No, the ga oh, right, that's just a garrison. Never mind. Speaking of which... Oh, never mind, it is getting all the garrisons that it requires, so it's going to take a while. Right, so we have a little bit extra here. We've got some artillery over there. Let's actually move in this artillery there, and... Oh, the Germans are offering... Metal ores. Sure, we'll take that. Are we actually having a... Not really. Well, more resources is always more resources, and they offer at a good price. We actually got a billion now. Send more tanks to the north. I wonder, do we have anything that we could buy from them? Basic missile concepts. Um Maybe this one. It's only 124 million, so it's actually rather cheap. Now did that give uh 
Maybe any technology improvement. Get them one by one. Yeah, that S35 doesn't have a great day. Trying to go through here. I certainly hope that we can get another anti-aircraft gun around here. Just so that we can defend this trench line here from the enemy planes and then we'll have to start sending some around here. Because we know that they do also use planes around here. Also, do we have artillery? Built a little bit again. Two artillery pieces and I mean, we have a little bit over there so we can just start gathering up more artillery there than we got. And a tank gun, which will actually entrench in there. I think that's going to be the best place for it right now, because they will be going through here with quite a speed. So we've got these two, which we'll actually send down here. We'll go through the bridge and we'll entrench them over there to give a bit of uh, extra protection on that. And if need be, we can then use them as a reserve to defend areas around here. Germany and Hungary are allies. Actually, now that we got the avionic technology, let's have a look. Can we get anything else? No, there's only the basic missile concepts. Oh, sure, we'll get that one. It's not going to cost too much. No, then, no. No anti aircraft gun there yet. A bit more infantry available. But yeah, our economy is finally in fairly good shape. Germany and Romania are allies. Hold on, I have a feeling that there's going to be a Barbarossa soon and they haven't even taken up Poland. I mean, it is trivia events, I suppose. Yeah, the Hungarians are actually helping Germany. I mean, we are also helping Germany a little bit, but... They're in a bit different area, especially in France. I wonder, is there... No, there's no... Oh right, it, once you get missile stuff and such, you can set up an installation that will fire upon any enemy planes in the region. Or within reach. Right, well this front should be rather defendable at this point. Actually move these two artillery pieces here as well. It's gonna be plenty and that flak 88 is quite well there. We might even want to start gathering up the troops to take out the island of Corsica at some point. But right now I Let's see, so we got plenty of infantry here. We'll gather them up over there. We'll have a little bit extra artillery there. We can sign you there. We got these two. You're actually going already over there. Never mind them. Do we still have troops repairing here? We got two infantry that are about to be ready. send you down that way. And these two... Entrench over there. They also need a little bit of troops around here, but they're mostly going through there, I think. Because we've taken out the road so they can't just drive through here. And the artillery is having a field day. Okay, armor design is level 2. Let's have a look. What does this... At least to design CVP single attack. This is actually one of our designs. It's infantry, but I think it's better mechanized or half track. Well, I suppose mechanized than what the half tracks that we have right now. There would be the tank tech 39 armor designs. I'm just gonna try to find where the Panzer 4 is unlocked. I don't see it. I 
Oh, hello. I think we shut down one of the planes. Yeah, I think if we could... Hmm. I'd like to take out this uh, here and start locating Marseille and uh, slowly take it out, but at the same time, I don't think we have the troops right now. I mean, technically, we have plenty of troops here that we could probably take out this and maybe that, but then they would send in a huge amount of reinforcements, and I don't want that right now. We're not quite ready for that. We don't have the supplies, but... Okay, still nothing there. Let's actually switch around this to from full time infantry to infantry and don't have good tank designs. Honestly, the Marines is not a bad one. On the other hand, the half tracks are also rather decent. Are we getting any... We could start building paratroopers there. Those are also fairly good. Not as good as the special forces or anything like that, but... We can drop them at least. From a plane, if it has enough capacity, which most of them probably won't. So we got another infantry here, we'll assign you there. So we'll have quite a bit of infantry. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. If we move in this artillery over here, we should be within reach of that village. And then we'll move this artillery one hex forward. That's not artillery, that's just uh, anti-aircraft guns, so we can actually move in closer start doing damage on the garrisons. Wait until the infantry is over here before we move the faster troops in. Or actually we should probably move in the infantry first. Then once they are there, move in the faster troops. take out the anti-aircraft gun, it's gonna free up some of the skies here for our planes and the German planes. That's seven garrisons there, blimey. Alright, time to move. We are forcing some of the troops back. Okay, the infantry over here didn't last for long. Maybe the barracks is not quite ready yet, but we'll move them that way anyway. We're not going to lose one infantry there. Which is a shame because it's... First of all, it doesn't know where it's going. Secondly, it's... Uh, it has some experience. The garrisons are not going to last too long. Come on, we can do that. There we go. Capture that. I think we'll move in some of these uh, half tracks. Up here to defend this uh, road. Remove the artillery. Oh. Eventually, at least. Uh, we'll send this one for a pass. Send these uh, infantries over there. There's going to be the barracks eventually. It shouldn't take too long. In the artillery down south a little bit. Do you have the artillery over there? Oh, we're actually doing a decent damage there. Right, do we have that anti-aircraft gun now? Nope. How much are we missing still in terms of days? Seven days. So it's certainly not going on full speed right now. 
It's not the end of the world. Actually, yeah, that infantry can stay there for now. To give it a bit of a buffer zone for the artillery. Speaking of infantry, let's send you up north. And yeah, we lost one infantry. A couple of infantry are in a bad shape and need to be repaired. But for the most part, that assault went quite decently. Oh, the Germans are now doing a decent job in Yugoslavia. Let's actually have a look. So Hungary is certainly in Axis. Romania is Axis aligned, or is it? Uh... No, they are Axis aligned. Okay. Now oh, the French still control a lot of that, but they won't have much supplies in there. Honestly, if I was to get some upgraded artillery around here, they would be doing a lot more damage. And that would cause a lot of uh, problems for the French. They are sending in reinforcements here. It's a tank, I'm not particularly fond of that. But with the help of artillery, we've got plenty of artillery that can do a decent damage on it. Our defensive posture here is uh, such that we can probably hold them now. Actually make sure that we add in some garrisons over there. Which will help later on. Oh, we've actually destroyed some of the garrisons there. Interesting. With the bombardment, we might be able to do a lot of damage on the garrisons and then we can just walk in there and take that but of course there's going to be another set of garrisons here which we haven't even touched but yeah the siege of Leon is starting well it's not really a siege yet but it will be oh right we are using the airfield here now excellent how we repaired the no 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 we haven't Problem no need of this many garrisons here, we'll lower it down to five. No, that's actually four. But that's probably gonna be enough. It's gonna save up some cash and military personnel. Let's have a look, uh, do they have anything? Liquid fueled rockets. How much is that gonna cost us? 116 million, sure. Not sure what we're gonna get about that or from that, but oh well. So the parachute burst is going to take a while, then there's the naval electronics, military logistics, Oh, we shot down a plane there, quite nice. How much longer for this? It's still seven days. Um, yeah, we're not really building that, are we? Yeah, we're having a bit of a problem with the goods again. Seems to be mostly used for repairing buildings every now and then. And thus the military production can't keep up during that time, but at least the demand is going down again to some degree. And then we got this tank over here repaired once more. We'll send it over there. Set up a little bit more defenses here. I could build trenches over here if I wanted to, but I don't think we really need to do that in every place. I mean over here it was warranted because there was a lot of enemy presence here. Military goods, that's actually a lot of military goods. They are requesting some millions, but I'm okay with that. If the Soviets are going to keep us fighting, then... What can I say? I'll take them. Ammunition. Right, we might have enough troops here. Well, I'm going to let the garrisons build up to full before we move forward, but we can probably take that with the help of... While concentrating the artillery, we should be able to take out this area here, and then maybe even Leon. If we can take out Leon and the land production there, and maybe that one, and then start defending this, 
then we can start pushing south to take out this area, cut off the road here, and then start clearing out Marseille. That's where every time I pronounce that, it's uh, something different. Oh hey, we got the barracks finally completed. These infantries have been mostly repaired now. But that's good, we don't need to send them all the way to Italy anymore. So that is the first barracks that we've captured from the French. Well, we build that, we didn't capture it, but... Anyway, oh right, we got one of these uh, recon vehicles. Move them over this side. Honestly, like giving some recon for this group might not be a bad idea. I'll put him somewhere around here so that he can keep an eye on this area. Oh, there's a motorized engineer. It's almost a former motorized engineer, but no, we didn't quite catch it. Right, how we managed to. Oh, there's another artillery piece there, and. Uh, well, nothing else really. Well, let's send this near Leon. Group right with that. There we go, we shot down a French plane. They're offering more military goods. I'll take that. I mean, the d demand for military goods is now going down a little bit, and they are not actually attacking here, they're just still going back and forth here. Yeah. Which is an excellent way for us to do some Turkish shooting. Aha! We got anti aircraft gun. Let's bring it down. It already has seven. We'll bring it down here first, and then we'll probably move it over there. For this group. Because it does have a decent value on attacking ground units as well. Okay, it's down to. Well, it's still 21,000 industrial goods. That is demanded, but of course, don't provide quite that many. Let's actually send you down there. Although the half track infantry might actually have pretty decent side value as well. How about we pull you on this side instead? So you can spot a little bit over there. I hope. Oh, yeah, it does have a bit of vision there. And then, if we could get a longer range artillery here, so that it can fire at least three hexes away, and then, yeah, we could. Certainly do a lot of damage on this uh, supply ride. Well, it's not technically a supply ride, but reinforces go through there. Let's send you for repairs real quick, if we can. Right, uh, the flak 88. So we're going to send you there. We're going to send in one of these supply trucks up north. They are probably going to need, going to be needed there a bit more. We've got two black 88s there. We can probably move this one over here. We'll probably keep this one over here because they do fly through here every now and then. So good, more military goods. Sure, I'll take a uh, 700. Oh yeah, that was an uh, enemy plane shot. Got another infantry, move it up north. Then we've got two more artillery. We are actually going to send these over here. We're going to start replacing some of the old artillery. Because, honestly, it's worth like at this point. I'm just going to scrap that one. Oh, there we go, we destroyed one of them, and the other one is running away. Yeah, that's actually a rather efficient defense there. Oh, they're flying through there. Yeah, you better run. 
Right, do we have... Oh, we got another half track. It's in Genoa, it's basically where we are gathering. It's either Torino or Genoa. Depending on where we're sending the troops, I suppose. Right, another infantry. Wait, is it still producing infantry or did it finally switch? No. I thought, oh right, we didn't set up anything else than the infantry. Let's, uh, let's do something about that. Maybe we should get more half-track infantry. Start producing that here. I mean, the regular infantry, as stated before, it can defend. Can't do much attacking. Now then, the demand for military goods is still... 6700. Eh, not great. Not great. Did we so that's oh right, that's just regular anti air gun. And uh, yeah, Soviets are having a good time trading with us, but it's simply good business. Yeah, let's move in more troops here. I mean we probably have more supply trucks that are what I usually use, but on the other hand. They will be useful, you just need to use them carefully. Oh, industrial goods, yeah, I'll take that. That's some good trades there. I wonder, oh, right, they got back to full strength there. Um, well, unfortunately, we are actually out of time, so it's probably going to be next episode when we attack Leon, and hopefully we can take that. I'm not sure if we have the troops for that quite yet, but we can certainly clear out that one, and maybe a little bit of uh, the eastern side of the river here. And then later on, we might be able to take out the western side. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of troops here at the barracks, so we're going to be have, have to gotta be rather careful with that. But we can probably at least start fighting here, and with enough artillery, which we have been bringing in, we should be able to hammer them down with uh, 150 millimeter shells. Well, 149, but still. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this uh, video, and until next time, bye bye.